The purpose of this video is to provide training material on how to conduct a culvert barrier assessment using turning points. You will use turning points when the road fill depth exceeds the height of the stadia rod and you need to calculate elevations. Think of it as leapfrogging up one side of the hill and then leapfrogging back down the other side. So we are measuring the elevation of the downstream slide with a turning point. So we set up our laser on a fairly level surface where we can shoot and receive the height. We record the height, the elevation gain, and we mark the center measure the height to the laser and that you subtract that height from the height that you recorded and then we will move the stadia rod to the exact center underneath the laser we will move the laser up the slope and repeat the process Okay, so we're continuing to measure the elevation gain on the downstream side of the culvert. This is our second turning point. After gathering the information at the first turning point, we set the stadia rod in the exact location where the laser was. We move the laser up the hill, making sure to clear vegetation. Got it level. We shot the second elevation and then measured the height of the instrument and we'll subtract that height from the gain that we got and add the turning point one to the turning point two height. And then we will repeat the procedure at the road, which should be our last turning point for the downstream elevation. Okay, we're still measuring the downstream elevation gain with turning points. This is our third turning point, which are, we are now at the road. So again, we move the stadia rod up to the second turning point. We move the laser up to the road level. We shot our elevation. We will now begin working on the upstream side. And on the upstream side, we'll shoot our first turning point. And then we will start having to do the deductions because we're at this point, we're just being relative to the road height. And now we're working on the upstream elevation gain. We did our first turning point. So we left the laser on the road surface where we had taken the last turning point for the downstream measurement. And we measured the uh, elevation gain to this point, to this turning point. We will move the laser now to where the stadia rod is and repeat the procedure. But this time we'll be able to measure to the culvert and we will be able to get the full elevation gain. Okay, so we are back to the downstream or upstream um, elevation measurement uh, with turning points. We had to take one more turning point because there was too much vegetation in the way to shoot the laser. So we put the stadia rod in front of the vegetation, shot the elevation, and we will now repeat the procedure by taking the laser back to the stadia point there and we will finally measure the elevation and we will also measure the height of the instrument and subtract that from the elevation so that we have the correct elevation gain so here we are measuring the elevation gain on the upstream side this is our third turning point so again we move the laser down to where the stadia rod was we got it level and then we shot the uh, elevation we subtracted that from the height and we added the three turning points together to get the full elevation rise on the upstream side thanks for watching if you have any questions please reach out to Nikki Lacia, the volunteer barrier assessment team coordinator for the bat program you can reach him at nicholas at washingtontu.org.